Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PC Michigan Tech Help Show, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a system restore point and restore that system restore point that you have created. Now Windows does automatically create these system restore points if you do a critical Windows update, but uh, you'll see that in a little bit when I go to do this. First thing you want to do is go down to the Start Menu button and select it, and then go to Computer and right click on it and select Properties. This is going to bring up your System Properties window, and you want to select the System Protection tab on the left navigation. At this point, we can go to Configure to actually configure our System Restore Point settings. So let's go ahead and go there first. And the, by default, it should restore system settings in previous versions of files. This is exactly what we want selected to begin with, so let's leave that whatever the default is. For disk space usage, you may want to expand this if you have a large amount of media on your computer, so you can have adequate amount of space to do the proper system restore. Otherwise, it's not going to actually back up everything that you want it to actually back up. So once you've actually selected max usage and put it at whatever you think is comfortable, select apply and then OK. Now once you've done that, you want to go to create to create your first system restore point. I'm going to type in my first system restore point and then I'm going to type in test afterwards because I've done a couple of these for the videos and then select create. After it's been created successfully, it'll let you know and then select close. And now to restore your system from a system restore point, you're going to use this system restore section here and you're going to launch system restore. After you've launched system restore, just select next and it'll actually show all the ones you've done. As you can see, I've done this video three times already and failed horribly at the first two. But also notice here at the bottom, Windows Update will actually tell you what type of update it was and why it did a system restore at that point. So note that Windows will create a system restore point. Now I can do show more system restore points and I can scroll down and I can see all the different ones that were created as well. And then you can also scan for the affected programs by that particular backup. Once you're done you can just click next and then run through the system restore and hopefully it'll fix whatever issue you are having. Now that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Remember, it is always important to have a backup of your system data on a separate disk other than your system restore, because system restore doesn't do a good job recovering from failed hard drives. So if you uh, enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, or go ahead and like my page on Facebook. Thanks again.